Check it out! There's a new case on the ticker type! Let's grab it and get started! Creature terrorizing people in the forest. In Stasi's opinion, this is just to distract us from very old socks. We've also heard that the Ice King is missing, and that the Ice Kingdom is about to since she was banished from Luffy Space. Even so, Stasi hears that Pillow Mint Butler is preparing the ceremony for. Another case! Strange hairy creature wreaking havoc in the forest. Man, Tree Trunks lives in the forest. We better start by making sure she's okay. Is one of the ones I used to make the scented flower blend for my special tea. Tree trunks! It's Finn and Jake! Are you okay? Do I sound like I'm okay, Mr. Crazy Man knocking at the door, all pretending to be my friends trying to scare me? Now you just go away. Come on, tree trunks, open up! We're here to help! You just help yourself to the front path and keep on walking, you disturber of innocent people. I ain't letting anybody in, cause no means no. I think Tree Trunks keeps a spare key under her welcome mat. There was a spare key, but somebody took it. All that's left is an imprint. Hey, Jake! It's that talking tree stump I was telling you about. I was kind of hoping not to see you again. No offense. Hmm, Hair Ape. You think this guy might be the hairy beast we're looking for? Nah, these guys pretty much keep to themselves. Plus, they're kind of dumb. No offense. Ooh. Well, hopefully he won't be a problem. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on him. Ow! Finn! He's not gonna let me grab it. That's not working. Tree trunks! Looks like you've seen a ghost! Oh, Finn, I, I think maybe I have. What did you see? What happened? I don't know. Oh, I'm so upset. It's just all a blur. Jake, we need to find a way to calm her down so she can tell us what happened. It's okay, Tree Trunks. We're here to help. What can we do? 
Well, I know a nice cup of tea usually does the trick. I know just the thing. My special scented flower herbal blend. We just have to find some flowers and medicinal herbs. Sounds like a plan. Don't worry, tree trunks. We'll be back soon. Hey, Tree Stump. We need to make some herbal tea for our friend Tree Trunks. You don't mind if we borrow your flower, do you? It'll grow back. I don't know. It's kind of attached to my... Ow! Hey! Thanks! Why do I take so much abuse? You steal my flower. Mr. Pig dumps his old tools at me like I'm some kind of garbage can. Ah, well, what can you do? Life's rough. Right, Gnome. What gives? What? We didn't do nothing. Yeah, but you guys are always up to something. Well, yeah, but we didn't do nothing yet. What do you mean, yet? All right. Me and the boys was gonna prank tree trunks, but somebody beat us to the punch. Who was it? I don't know. They flew right by us and jumped on the dungeon train. Swiped our loot, too. Some medicinal herbs and a really sweet jewel. Aw, oh, man. Man, not dungeon train. Yes, Jake. Dungeon train. Okay, fine. But we're getting off as soon as we find out what spooked tree trunks. And some sweet loot, too. There, see what you did, Gnome? Now he's all loot happy again. Well, sounds like your problem, pal. I'm out of here! Whoa! <laughs> Our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. Hold it right there, hairy beast. We got you now. Wait, Jake. That's not a hairy beast. It's Forest Wizard. All right, Forest Wizard. Talk. You know anything about whatever's scaring people in the forest? No, I swear. I came here to hide out. I was minding my own whizbiz when whatever that hairy thing was attacked me. So, what was it? I don't know, but it scared the bejeebies out of me. Chased me all the way through the forest, all sobbing and moaning. It was bad. Where did it go? Last I saw of it, it was running across that bridge near here. I guess you're on the up and up. Hey! Did you score any sweet loot while you were here on the dungeon train? Yeah, this place is full of sweet loot. Plus, whatever that hairy thing was, he dropped some stuff too. Here, you can have it. I just want to go home. An apple, a jewel, some medicinal herbs, and... <gasps> Whoa! A lightning sword! <laughs> sweet! Thanks! Later, Forest Wizard!
Ah, yeah, that's my patented scented flower blend. Voila! Jake's special scented herbal tea. All right, tree trunks, tea's on. Should be ready soon. Oh, thank you, Jake. Just the smell is, is very soothing. I feel better already. Guess I won't need my worry towel anymore. Cool. So what can you tell us about what you saw? Oh, it was awful. All hairy and beastly. It came through here all stealing and and breathing hard and stole my whole apple stash. The apples? Oh, dear glob, not the apples. Well, don't you worry, Tree Trunks. Finn and Jake Investigations will get to the bottom of this. We're on the case. Oh, thank you, Finn. And if you two can find my apples while you're finding that apple thieving hairy thing, I'll bake you a nice apple pie, just like always. You bet. We'll bring back all the apples we can find. Mathematical. Sweet. <laughs> you never know when you'll need an old damp towel. Good work, Finn and Jake. I still don't have enough to bake a pie, though. Oh, thanks. I believe I have enough apples to bake you boys a pie now. Here you go, boys. One apple pie hot out of the oven. I'm sorry we upset you, Tree Stump. Here, have some of Tree Trunk's pie. That always cheers me up. Oh, hey, hey. This is delicious. What's in this? It's apple pie, so apples, I guess? What? Apples. Apples? I was an apple tree. You made me a cannibal. <laughs> Did she just puke up a hammer? Gross. Yeah. But look at the bright side. We got a free hammer! Blah! That hammer's covered in tree barf! Ew! That wood will make a good bridge, eventually. <laughs> nice! Not exactly the best looking bridge, but it'll do the trick. A 
wall of ice! Whatever that hairy beast is, it must have walled itself up in this tree. Sounds sad. I don't care. It has to be stopped. We need to find a way to melt through this ice. I think I've seen this snail before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where there's a well, there's a way to get water. <laughs> These handlebars will make a good tool for picking up stuff. <laughs> That'll be boiling hot in no time. Of course, we can't pick it up now. We can put the hot towel on the ice to melt it, if we can get it out of the can. Cool! Or hot, actually. Uh, you got the towel out of the water. Drop it on the ice! Ice King? You're the hairy beast that's been messing with people? We're gonna take you down, man! <sighs> I'll just sit here and be miserable while you do whatever it is you have to do. Finn, hold off. I think something's going on here. All right! Awesome! Ice King, we need to ask you some questions. Go ahead. Ask anything you want. I got nothing but time. People have been talking about a hairy beast that's terrorizing them lately. Is that you? Well, I guess I am a little hairy, but I've been thinking of getting a body wax. Ew! Just tell us why you've been stealing stuff and messing with people. I was hungry. And lonely. So very lonely. Ah. Uh... This place is seriously nasty, dude. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? I'm a hobo now. What are you doing living in the woods? Well, I was away from the Ice Kingdom for a while on a book tour. Somebody invited me to do a reading of my entire Fiona and Cake series. Can you believe it? No. Oh, well, anyway, the nice lady that called me to arrange the tour uh, didn't meet me. After a couple of days, I went back to the Ice Kingdom and found out I'd been kicked out. Kicked out? Why? Somebody anonymously tipped off Pillow Mint Butler that I left my kingdom abandoned, so a new leader had to be appointed in my place. Pillow Mint Butler, the guy who helped select Nightmare Princess to rule the Nightmare Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Anyway, he said he's in the process of installing a princess to take over the Ice Kingdom. He picked Lumpy Space Princess. She was the only one available on short notice. LSP in charge of a kingdom sounds like a bad idea. She'd be even worse than you are at ruling a kingdom. Uh, thanks, I guess? Maybe we can fix this. What can we do to help? Oh, thanks, bro. But I don't know if there's anything you could... Hey, wait. You might not be able to get my kingdom back, but you can help. This is a chance for us to live together at the treehouse again. Three bros living together, having fun. The three Omeeg bros. What do you say? No, 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 no. We'll get your kingdom back. Finn and Jake Investigations is on the case. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just ice myself back in my tree cave and wait for you guys to do your thing. Alone. Cold. Hairy. Ugh. All right, Ice King. You can stay with us, just until we sort this out and get your kingdom back. Really? Great! Uh, just let me collect my stuff. Um, I think you can leave it. We got plenty of garbage at home. Whatevs! This'll be so much fun! Dibs on Finn's bed! I regret this already. I'm so glad you let me stay here. 
I never told you when I was staying here before, but I really envy you guys. Um, sure. No problem, Ice King. We... But there's always room for improvement. Ice King, if you want to get your kingdom back, you have to let me and Jake go and investigate what's happening. Yeah, sure. Don't let me keep you. You do what you gotta do. Great. We'll just be going now. Just as soon as we get things ironed out here on the home front. When you're ready, let me know. I've got a detailed list. Finn, he's never gonna let us leave. I know, man. We gotta think of something. Guess we should start by finding out what he wants. Oh, good. You guys are ready to get started. Here's my list. A sandwich? Well, that doesn't seem so tough. But it's gotta be a good sandwich with lots of meat and cheese and mustard. Oh, and olives. The green kind, not the black kind. Black kind of nasty. Okay. But we're kind of low on groceries. If you want, Jake and me can go to the grocery kingdom and... Oh, that's okay. I don't want to make you run out on my account. We can get back to the sandwich later. A jar of Prismo's pickles? Sorry, man. We ate the last one of those a while ago. Then why is there a full jar under Jake's pillow? Jake! You've been bogarting a jar of Prismo pickles? That's low, bro. Um, maybe we should circle back to the pickle thing later. Your own guest suite? What the? Dude, we don't have a guest suite. Way ahead of you. I've already called the contractors. They start the build out next week. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just crash on your bed. My bed? Where am I supposed to sleep? Well, this place is lousy with sofas. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm easy. Gee, thanks. An invitation to movie night? Huh, that seems reasonable. Great! I get first pick! Basic Mortality, Season 2. It's 22 episodes, so you better have plenty of popcorn. That's cool! I haven't seen that season yet. Oh, it's great! The Lady Detective dies in Episode 15. It's really sad. I cried and cried. Oops! Spoiler alert! <laughs> Sigh. Let's see if there's anything else. A princess? Ice King, we are not going to help you kidnap princesses. Yeah, I thought that might be a sticking point. But I'm so lonely. How about a play date like last time? I don't know. Africa Daniel's been through a lot lately. Probably pretty tired. Oh, not him. He's a donkus anyway. I miss Gunter. Can you invite Gunter to come over? If I had Gunter to keep me company, all the other stuff on the list could wait. Really? Well, I guess we can give him a call. Finn, Gunter will wreck the place. He breaks bottles. About half our coolest stuff is in bottles. Don't worry. We don't have to really invite Gunter over. We just need to fool Ice King into thinking Gunter is here. We can come up with something. We're on it, Ice King. One play date with Gunter coming up. Just laying around, do do de do. Staring at the Ice Kingdom ain't helping us to get the Ice King back there. Dude, let it go. Flame Princess just isn't into you. All's quiet in the Candy Kingdom. It's really quiet there without the Ice King. Just checking to make sure Flame Prince, uh, the Fire Kingdom is okay. What are you looking for, man? We go to the Candy Kingdom all the time. Yep, nothing but junk. Hey, Bimo, 
You want Ice King out of here, right? Of course! Ice King smells funny, and he calls me more nectar. Yeah, well me and Jake have to find a way to get Ice King his kingdom back, but he won't let us leave! We need your help. Yay! Bima loves to help. How do you feel about costumes? Bima loves wearing costumes. Do you like penguins? Yes! Penguins are very cute and they waddle when they walk. Like Bima! You like to play, right? Of course! Bima is the game machine! In a very literal sense. Great! Here's the deal. We want you to dress up like Gunther and go on a play date with Ice King. It's only for a few hours, so me and Finn can go out and find a way to get Ice King out of our house for good. I see. No. Aw, come on, Bimo! Take one for the team! No! You and Jake left me out of your detective agency, and you brought a smelly Dunkus to live in our home. Bimo is a cranky. Maybe if Bimo was in a better mood, Bimo would help. <sighs> All right, we get it. Come on, Jake. Let's see if we can find something to cheer up Bimo so he'll help us. Hey, Bimo! I think we found something that will cheer you up. No one die! This is Bimo's favorite. Put it in. Dance, dance, dance! Um, I don't hear anything. And I got dog ears. I can hear real good. Bimo is using internal earphones. Okay, Finn. Bimo is in a good mood now. I will dress as a penguin and play with the smelly ice king. You're the best, Bimo. We'll get started when we have all the stuff for the costume. Yeah, let's see. We're gonna need a couple of brushes, some black and white paint, something to make a beak. Oh, and some fake eyes. Gunther's got those big old bug eyes. Loot! Jake sure did love that burrito. Say, yurt. We have a great view of the pond and stuff. Guess the water nymphs are sleeping. Balls. They're the best. Kind of look like eyes when they're old like those are. Now that it's rolled and glued, the card looks kind of like a little party hat, or a beak. Ready to paint something black. 
Ready to paint something white? Don't forget under his arms. You've got some painting skills. Voila! Two penguin peepers. That looks just like a tiny beak. Perfect. Hey, Ice King! Look who came over for a play date! Wink! Gunter! Daddy's missed you so much! Oh, sweetie, we are gonna have so much fun. There's so much to do here. I bet these guys must have, like, a thousand bottles. Yay! I mean, wank. All right! Now we can get out of here and start investigating. We gotta get Ice King back to his kingdom ASAP. I'm sorry, Finn and Jake. The law is very clear in situations like these. But somebody tricked Ice King into leaving. A tour to promote his Fiona and Cake books? No way that's legit. Seriously, have you read those things? Hey, those books are great. Quit trying to mess things up and wreck me getting my own kingdom. Princess, come on. You know this is a bad idea. I don't know, Finn. I mean, when it comes to picking a responsible ruler for a kingdom, LSP certainly wouldn't be my first choice. Maybe not even one of my top 10. Or 50. Hey! No offense, but I'd be lying if I said it wouldn't be better to have somebody less, well, creepy and kidnappy ruling the Ice Kingdom. You hear that? I'm not creepy! We don't want Ice King as a permanent house guest. Isn't there anything we can- I'm afraid not. Pending the results of the three honorable deeds, the coronation will proceed as planned. Three honorable what now? I can explain in detail if you'd like to discuss it, but the deeds are a mere formality. Nobody has ever failed to complete them properly. I'm sorry, but the law is the law. Stupid law. Gentlemen, I am quite busy, but I shall help if I can. You said something about three noble deeds. What's up with that? When a princess is to be installed in an expedited manner, as is the case here, she must first prove her worthiness. She does so by completing three tasks that a princess might be expected to perform in the course of her duties. What's the scoop on these deeds? What does a princess-to-be have to do? All princesses must perform the same basic deeds. Throw a lovely party, help a lovelorn couple find happiness, and do a favor for a friend in need. All basic skills that any princess must be able to accomplish. When does LSP have to do her noble deeds? Oh, she has already completed them. I simply haven't had enough time to evaluate them yet. So much to do, you know. What kind of party did LSP have to throw? There is a young marshmallow child who is having a birthday today. Lumpy Space Princess's task was simply to provide a cake that would make the child's party a memorable one. Helping a lovelorn couple? What's that all about? Many people need a bit of a push to take that first step and become a couple. In this case, I tasked LSP with delivering an invitation to the coronation from Dr. Donut to Nurse Pound Cake. So, like matchmaking, huh? Um, totally unrelated, but have you ever met Flame Princess? Finn, focus! We'll talk later. LSP isn't usually the doing favors for friends type. What did you ask her to do? A visiting dignitary from the Fire Kingdom, a Mr. Cinnamon Bun, is in the Candy Kingdom for the big event. He needed someone to walk his pet Firewolf while he got ready for the coronation. LSP was to provide that service. So what happens if LSP donked up her noble deeds? Does that mean she doesn't get the job? Oh my, yes. If she, as you say, donked up any of the three noble deeds, or were to show incompetence, she would be removed from consideration. Would it be okay if me and Jake check up on things? Talk to the people LSB did stuff for and see how she did? That would, in fact, be a great help to me. I have so much to do in preparation for the coronation. 
Should you and your stretchy dog friend find that lumpy space princess has performed inadequately, please bring it to my attention. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Pillman Butler. We should track down that marshmallow kid, nurse pound cake and cinnamon bun right away and see how LSP did. Yeah, no way she did all this stuff right. Ice King will be out of our house and back in charge of the Ice Kingdom in no time. That shield is as big as a nice sized cake. No, oh, sorry, I tend to describe things in terms of food when I'm hungry. You won't need that in the Candy Kingdom. Not to use as a shield, anyway. Finn! Jake! Oh, what a day I'm having. Why so blue, Dr. D? You'd be upset, too, if you didn't have a date for the coronation. I don't, and I'm not, but whatevs. Why didn't you invite Nurse Poundcake to the coronation like you said you would? What? I did invite her. Oh, this is terrible. Pillow Mint Butler told me he would have Lumpy Space Princess deliver my invitation note personally. What could have happened to it? Just as we suspected. Don't worry, Dr. Donut. Finn and Jake are on the case. We'll get things patched up between you and Nurse Poundcake. Thank you, Finn. I sure hope you can clear this up. It's Dr. Donut's note to Nurse Poundcake. We gotta deliver it to her. base layer for a cake. Nice. Nurse Pound Cake, look what we found. A note from Dr. Donut invited me to the coronation. Oh, Finn, Jake, thank you. I was so worried he had asked someone else to go with him. Now, whatever will I wear? All right, sweet. I think I've seen this snail before. Finn, Jake, my birthday party is ruined. What happened? Why are you so upset? One of Lumpy Space Princess's noble deeds was to throw me a great birthday party. She totally dunked it up. Um, what happened to that cake? It was awful. LSP brought a homemade cake, but she made it out of garbage and candy people. It attacked my friends. The banana guards had to knock it unconscious. Jake, when Pillman Butler hears how bad LSP screwed this thing up, he'll have to reconsider putting her in charge of the Ice Kingdom. But first, we gotta do something to help this poor kid. We don't want you to have a lousy birthday party, Marshmallow Kid. What can we do to fix it? Well, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could you guys make me a new cake? A better one? One that isn't, you know, alive? You got it, Marshmallow Kid! Me and Jake will make you the best birthday cake we've ever made! The first birthday cake we've ever made! So it'll maybe be good, but we can promise that it won't be alive. Probably. All right, Jake. We're gonna need a cake plate, a cake, some frosting, <gasps> and some cool bling to top it all off. Let's get started. There, that'll make a good cake plate. Now for the cake. The perfect start to a perfect cake. 
Or at least, a better one than LSPs. Don't stick your hand in the punch, Vin. It's rude. That's some tasty-looking punch. Bet it's super sugary. That cake is so nasty, I think I might hurl. Cinnamon bun, what's the matter? Oh, Finn, Jake, you gotta help me. Jake, too, is missing. Uh, who's Jake, too, again? You know, Jake, too, my pet firewolf. I named him after you, Jake, because you and me are such good friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, what happened to him? Well, Bumpy Space Princess was supposed to take him for a walk while I was getting ready for the coronation thing. But she gave him to some stranger to do it for her. She said wolves are complicated, but I think she's just lazy and mean. Jake, LSP really messed this up. Pillman Butler needs to know about this, but not until we help Cinnamon Bun. How can we help Cinnamon Bun? You guys have got to find Jake, too, and bring him back to me. He's going to be scared all alone. Firewolves start burning stuff when they're scared. Don't worry, man. We'll bring him back safe and sound. Hey, what's up? You must be new around here. Hey, yeah. Name's Sonny. Hi, Sonny. We're Finn and Jake. Adventurers and investigators. Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Later. Yeah, see ya! You got about two seconds before I punch you in the face! Yeah, hi. So, what brings you to this lovely part of town today? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm waiting for the tavern to open. I need me a nice sugary beverage! You haven't by chance seen a firewolf around here, have you? Who's asking? Um, me. I, uh, I, I just asked you. Oh, yeah. Well... Just so happens I might have seen one in a basement nearby. Or maybe I didn't. You never can tell. So, what you got over there? Rope or something? Yeah! It's my new rope belt! Just got it! Hmm, I sure would like to have a belt that nice. What do you want for it? It ain't for sale! But if you want to trade, you can get me a sugary drink. Cola, punch, whatever! I'd give anything for a sugary drink. Man, I am an angry, angry cookie! Gross, but oddly tasty looking. At least we have some frosting now. Bloop! You might think it's frosting, but it's not. <laughs> Almost done, I think. Ta-da! One awesome birthday cake. What do you think, Marshmallow Kid? Pretty nice, huh? Yes! That's way better than that nasty thing LSP made. Thanks, Finn and Jake. Glad to help. Yeah! Nice! Good thinking! Now we can take the punch to Cookie Guy! Open wide! 
Oh, yeah! That was some tasty sugary punch! I'm almost not angry now! Deal's a deal. Go ahead and take the rope. It's not really a belt. I made that part up! I don't wear pants! Ah, oh, yeah! Nice fuse! Now we can light this baby! Sounds like Dr. J and Jake 2 are behind that door. <sighs> Locked. And it's made of tempered licorice steel. You wouldn't hurt me, would ya? Okay, the fuse is lit and it's gonna explode soonish. Now what? Nice, Firewolf. Heal! Now just stand back and watch the fireworks. Nice! Note to self, never get a pet. <sighs> Jeez, never thought I'd be glad to see you guys. <sighs> Having a problem, Dr. J? Of course I am. I walked this firewolf just like the lumpy broad told me, but that didn't tire him out. So I brought him down here and started playing fetch with a broom. Now he wants me to keep playing and I can't get rid of him. He'll burn the whole place down if I don't get him out of here. Firewolves do love playing fetch. Well, find him something more interesting to fetch so he'll leave me alone. We should help him. Hey, if we can figure out something more interesting for Jake 2 to fetch, he'll probably follow us back to Cinnamon Bun. Hey, Jake, too! Check this out! <laughs> Good boy! Okay, Jake, let's get Jake, too, back to Cinnamon Bun. Hey, Cinnamon Bun! Look who we found! Jake, too! Finn, Jake, thank you for finding my Firewolf! That's what I ain't for trusting Lumpy Space Princess. She's irresponsible. All right, Jake, that's that. We fixed all of LSP's Noble Deed screw-ups. Time to let Pillament Butler know what a bad job she did. Yeah, no way he'll put her in charge of the Ice Kingdom after he hears what a mess she made of everything. Pillament Butler, Jake and me are finally back. And man, oh man, are you gonna want to hear about this. What the? By the power vested in me, by the Candy Kingdom and the King of Ooh, I pronounce you Princess of the Ice Kingdom. Oh my club, oh my club, oh my club! But how? We have evidence. LSP didn't complete her noble deeds. Really? Well, my records show that all three of Lumpy Space, excuse me, Ice Kingdom Princess's noble deeds were completed impeccably. What? No! She totally dogged them up. Me and Jake were the ones who completed the deeds and helped our friends. Well, I'm afraid I can't corroborate your story, young man. And at any rate, it's much too late. Ha! In your face, Fen and Jake! <clears throat> yes. Well, if you will come with me, Your Highness, there is a reception with light refreshments in the courtyard. No Lumpin way! I got my own kingdom now, pillow guy! I'm gonna rule it! Lumpy Ice Princess out! Aw, oh, man! I guess we're gonna have Ice King as a permanent roomie. No way, man. This isn't over. Let's give her a day or two and then head up to the Ice Kingdom and look around. All right, but I'm taking the sofa tonight. Ice King snores. Glad we came right from the coronation. There wouldn't be anything left of the Ice Kingdom if we'd have waited a few days like you'd wanted. Quack! There's LSP. I have got to know how she managed to mess everything up so fast. Ben, Jake! Oh my glob, I'm so glad you're here! Glad we're here? The last thing you said to us was, In your face, Finn and Jake! Whatever. Are we gonna talk about your hurt feelings all day, or are you gonna listen to my problems? <sighs> Alright, what's wrong, LSP? Why is this place such a mess? It's these lumpen penguins. They're such little drama queens. You know how much I hate that. And they stole my phone, broke a vase, and stole my special key. 
I need that stuff to rule my kingdom. They took your phone? What's up with that? Okay, so it was Ginthy who stole my phone. She's probably using it to gossip to Gunthi about Gonter. Gonter is gonna propose to Gunthalina even though Gundi is like, totally in love with Gonter. Huh? Aren't you listening, Fen? I need my phone back. How am I supposed to brag to Melissa about how I totally have my own kingdom without my phone? Find your phone. Got it. A broken vase? That doesn't seem very important. That's because you don't understand love, Fen. I set up this totally romantic dinner so that Gunter could pop the question to Gundelina. But stupid Gunter smashed the vase that the roses were in and the whole thing is totally ruined! Yeah, but how is that... I need a new vase for the roses. Find me a new lumpen vase for the roses! All right, jeez. So, what about this stolen key? <sighs> Do I have to explain everything? I ate all 20 pizzas we ordered for breakfast this morning, which is totally my right as princess. But Gunder is like, all mad and stuff because he didn't get any, and he took this really important special key from me. Now he won't give it back until he gets some pizza! Another pizza quest! We've got some experience in that department. Yeah, I think we can get your key back. So, if we find all this stuff, can we talk about how much you messed up and how Ice King should be put back in charge of the Ice Kingdom? Never. Why are you still here? Get my lump and stuff! Hey! I bet we could see our house from here! Blech. This place needs a visit from the housekeeping kingdom. Stat! Ew, mushy! Hope that penguin who stole LSP's key isn't too particular about pizza freshness. Hmm, that didn't work. We need something to weigh down that counterweight so the bridge won't sink. Good thinking, Finn! I should be heavy enough to keep the bridge up. We should be able to cross the bridge now. I'll take that phone, thanks! Wank. Wank. <laughs> Bet this will help us deal with Gunter. I'll grab him, but not barehanded. I'm gonna need some industrial strength gloves first. Guess that must be Gontra and Guntalina. Better find them a vase, I guess. Yeah, what? Gunter? Dang it! Bad Gunter! I'll just take that scepter if you don't mind. Wang. Yeah, he's not just gonna let go of that thing. You gotta show him who's boss. Man, we're never gonna get a bottle with Gunter smashing all of them. Bad Gunter! I'll just take that scepter if you don't mind. Wang. Yeah, he's not just gonna let go of that thing. You gotta show him who's boss. He's just gonna smash every bottle that comes near him if we don't do something. Bad Gunter, no more smashing bottles. 
Quang, 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 quang. Nice work, Finn. That showed him. Wonder why she carved for my prints on her scepter. Phew! That's the hardest we've ever worked for an empty bottle. Um, here's a vase, I guess. Enjoy! Oh my god! Now everything's perfect! Guntalina, check out this awesome diamond ring. Gunter has something he wants to ask you. Oh, he's too shy. I'll ask for him. Gunter wants to know if you'll take his flipper in marriage. Quang. What? Guntalina says she only wants to be friends. I can't believe she dropped the F-bomb. If I was you, I would be totally embarrassed. Wow. Um, what just happened? Dude, I don't even know. Um, you guys don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Thanks. Let's see if this barrier can stand up to a diamond. Yeah, boy! I never get tired of looking at Ice King's ninja weapon collection. I'm sure a Force of Blizzard scroll will come in handy. The art of Frigitsu, the source of all Ice Ninja knowledge. Nah, man, we don't have time to play Ice Ninja right now. Ice King should really turn that off. He's wasting power. Gauntlets are handy. Get it? Handy? This Stars of Frozen Rain scroll is definitely going to be useful. That's Gunder, the penguin that has LSP's key. Hey, Gunder! How about you save us some trouble and toss us the key? Whack! It's no use, man. We're gonna have to trade some pizza for the key, like LSP said. Okay, I guess I can grab Ice King's undies now, but I'm not gonna like it. I can't reach the old underwear, and I don't think I want to. Ew. Ben! I can still feel him through the gloves! Cool! Kinda looks like a slingshot. Gotta be the grossest slingshot I've ever seen. Hey, Gunder! Incoming! Wank! Ew! I can't believe he's gonna eat that gross pizza! Especially after it touched Ice King's underwear! Whatevs, we got the key. That's all that matters. Yeah! Cool! My phone! Thanks, Finn. Now I can call Melissa and tell her how awesome it is to have your own kingdom! In your face, Melissa! If I needed my scepter right now, I'd be holding it already!
My special key! Oh yeah! I can almost taste his sweet pouty lips already! Yeah! Wait, huh? That's it! I finally have everything I need to make him real! What are you talking about? We need to talk about Ice King! You talk about Ice King! It's time for me to meet my prince! What's she talking about? I don't know, man, but it doesn't sound good. We better follow her. Check it out! That ice over door is open now. LSP must have gone that way. Dude, check out Gunter. What's he doing? And what's that thing he's wearing? I don't know, but he's using it to summon enemies. LSP must have told him to stop us. Guess it's combat time! Ole! Duh! Loot. Doesn't get much better than that. Wang. Come on, Jake. Let's follow Gunter. He'll probably lead us right to LSP. Force of Blizzard! Starzane! Duh! Force of Blizzard! Stars of frozen rain! Nyah. Stars of frozen rain! Force of blizzard! Duh! 
Hold. We're good to go. All right, sweet. Man, what is this place? This must be the place where Ice King writes and stores his Fiona and Cake fan fiction. <laughs> Talk about taking it to the next level. Hey, there she is. LSP, you run. Leave me alone. I'm almost done, and I won't let anyone stop me! Stop them, Gunter! What am I paying you for? Gunter doesn't look very happy. Yeah, I bet he's gonna summon some more enemies. Then I guess it's time to kick some serious butt again. combat awesomeness. Check out all the dosh we got. <laughs> yeah, we kicked some serious booty. So, you finally had enough or what? Whack. Almost ready. Almost ready. LSP, what the heck? Go away, Fen. I'm almost done. When I finish copying my stories into Ice King's Fiona and Cake books, he'll finally be real. What are you talking about? Lumpy Space Prince? He wasn't real because my stories weren't official. But now that he's part of the real Fiona and Cake books, he'll come to life for real. And he'll be all like, Oh, your lumps are so awesome. Let's be together forever. You just wanted to scribble in Ice King's stupid books? That's why you took over the Ice Kingdom? Duh, Jake! I made up that stupid book to her so Ice King would go away and leave an opening for a new princess. Come on, who'd want to rule this place? It's really, really cold and it's... A jump. This chaos. Finn, it seems you were correct in your assessment of Lumpy Space Princess's ability to rule. I found out that she would have failed her noble deeds if not for you. And look what she's done to the Ice Kingdom! Come, your highness. No, wait! You'll be here any minute! Wait! Well, guess I'm back in charge. So much for the Fiona and Cake book tour, I guess. There was no love at book tour, you dumb hole! Oh. Quack. <laughs> 